Hi everyone, C Chronicles is my name. Thank you so much for joining me today. My content is mostly fragrance reviews, fashion and lifestyle videos. Uh, so if you're checking in here for the first time, please do consider subscribing. That is what you expect. I also want to acknowledge my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for always coming and rooting for me. I appreciate you coming always. I'm talking about popular fragrances within my collection with a similar vibe. Okay, popular fra fragrances with a similar vibe and i'm talking about fragrances that i have in front of me so this is not guesswork okay some of them are going to shock you but i just thought i should bring them to you okay and uh, now you might wonder how i ended up getting so many uh, fragrances with a similar vibe one was i blind bought a lot of fragrances okay during uh lockdown we all know that everybody was stressed blind bought a lot of fragrances that's one two i am a fragrance reviewer so sometimes i do get you know fragrances um that kind of smell the same you know because i just want to bring them to you all right so anyway i'm gonna go first uh i'm gonna go straight to the first one the first fragrance is going to be tobacco vanille okay this is tom ford's tobacco vanille what i've done is i have pre-sprayed them you know on these um cards so that it makes it a lot easier so tom ford's tobacco vanille okay uh and this has got a similar vibe and believe it or not to d squared to want i know this is going to be a complete surprise but that is what my nose tells me okay i sprayed both side by side now this uh, Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille is the reason why I actually am making this video because I was at home, sprayed this Tobacco Vanille, doing my business, and I started getting wafts of D squared to want, okay? And then I thought, oh, maybe it's just because they both are vanilla based. Maybe the vanilla is done in the same way, okay? So anyway, I just thought I should bring them to you, okay? So... Uh, there is that similar vanilla that's in there okay this is uh tobacco vanille here oh, i wish i had five hands honestly and this is d squared two want okay the differences you're gonna get here are d squared two want uh seems to take a more floral uh root but there is that similarity okay there is those woodsy note and the vanilla that translate to something that is quite similar okay uh there is a spiciness of cinnamon in um this one in tobacco vanille if i'm not mistaken uh, there is that spin up cinnamon spiciness and then in this one there is that ginger spiciness however to the nose the two different spices kind of interpret as almost something that it pulls in the similar direction so if you you know were wondering i'm not okay do you need both absolutely absolutely yes you would absolutely need both if you can afford to get both but i'm saying you know if you buy it and you were wondering you will get that surprise that these fragrances actually have that kind of you know similar uh, vibe to them okay um and believe it or not, I find that D squared two one actually lasts more than this one. Okay, so anyway, that I've got like another six more to go, so I need to do this one uh, pretty fast. The next one that I pulled was, uh, you know, my staple, which is my classic La Vie à Belle by Lancôme. Okay, La Vie à Belle by Lancôme has got a similar vibe with Katy Perry's Killer Queen. I think a lot of people maybe know that by now. Trying to get the paper for Katy Perry. Okay, yeah. It's got a similar vibe, okay? Um, or let me say Katy Perry has a similar vibe to this one because this one was there before this one, okay? So you will get, um, you know, that uh, jazz, that there's a jasmine, there's a praline, the patchouli, uh, but they interpret to the same thing for some reason, okay? The only thing that you're going to uh, 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 feel robbed of, of course, is the longevity in this one. This one's a beast. This one's more sweeter. This one feels like it's watered down. But in terms of, if you are wondering how does Killer Queen smell like, it does really feel like the Cologne version of La Vie à Belle, okay? There is that Tonka in La Vie à Belle, which kind of gives it that uh, a bit of some depth and some thickness. And that uh, uh, black currant and pear, you know, versus the Killer Queen uh, that has like, uh, you know, 
know, forest fruits, fruits, plums, uh, but they actually interpret to the same thing, except for the longevity. So would you need both? Absolutely, you may need both just to have this one to spray as and when you wish, and then make this one for maybe special occasions, or if you wanna, you know, just, uh, uh, if you haven't used La Via Belle and you wanted to give it a try uh, as to how does it feel like, you could try this one, uh, but this obviously is like a, maybe 50% times amped up. Okay, so that was Killer Queen by Katy Perry versus Lancome's La Vie a Belle. Okay, let me just put this one here and go on to the next one. Uh, trying not to drop things, guys. Okay, the next one is going to be this one. This is why I said some of these ones are going to surprise you. This is to, you know, this is a, a, to, a, according to my nose, of course. It might be different for some people, but I just find that there is some similarities here. Michael Kors by Michael Kors is sprayed on this one. I've written MK here versus Guerlain's Terracotta. Okay, so surprising because the notes are not similar at all. Okay, there is that uh, in Michael Kors, by Mar Michael Kors, there is that creamy kind of banana -y vibe it's obviously got an overdose of tuberose there's a lot of tuberose in here a lot of florals you know um very different notes from this one because terracotta on the other hand has got that vanilla as well but it does have that coconut um you know and that the the white and yellow florals combined that coconut gives it like a creaminess and i feel maybe the yelang yelang here comes across as banana -y, so you will get you know that sort of banana -y vibe which you get in this one as well you know uh tuberose I know is not listed as a note on terracotta but I just somehow feel as though there is tuberose in here let me know guys what you think in the comment section whether you've tried terracotta and you'd say there's no tuberose I personally feel as though there is tuberose and it was omitted as a note I don't know both of them are summery uh, this one's more coconutty like I said and this one's more banana -y, but they do give you a similar vibe whether or not you need both is entirely up to you. In terms of beast performance, you might want to go for this one. Um, in terms of that summary, this one's also a beast performer, but it's not as beastly as this one. So it's now entirely up to you, okay? And in case you have one as opposed to the other, in place of the other, you're probably not missing too much. So that's why I brought this video to you. I thought I should bring you this video because, you know, there is always this formal, you know, you sometimes we buy fragrances thinking oh my god oh my god i'm missing out and then it turns out i already have this you know so i just thought i'll make a video a quick one so that i can help someone out there jour the Immerse is what i've dabbed onto this one and this is the original one okay jour the Immerse. okay there's a couple of other flankers after this that's why i said this is the original one this is like a white floral with some citruses some green notes some white um so it is like a really floral composition, this one, okay? Now, I can't, I couldn't help but compare it to Chanel Gabrielle Chance, okay? Uh, and this is the essence, okay? But the es essence and the, uh, the the Chance, I think the difference is that one is uh, beastly, the other one, one is intense, the other one is uh, just the parfum, uh, the, is it? Yeah, the, the, the other one's EDP and the other one's intense or something like that. These two guys have a similar vibe. The question is, do you need both? I personally wouldn't think so unless you are a collector like myself or you just love one in, you know, you, or you just love the designer houses, okay? Because they do give me that similar vibe, except for the fact that this um, uh, Gabrielle Essence has got like a peachy uh, red fruits, um, black currant kind of thing going on there that I sets it apart it just has that uh, uh, you know that fruitiness which is the peachy kind of thing going on there uh whereas this one you know goes into like a little like a, a more citrusy kind of direction but in terms of the nose passing somebody by they might not even be able to tell the difference so whether or not you need both is absolutely up to you i uh, you know that's why i thought i should bring this video so these two have a similar vibe i was talking about chanel Gabriel Essence versus Dior de Hermes. And that is the original one. Okay, moving on to the next one. We're going to be talking about C. Passionier. C. Passionier. Okay, and I did a test, guys. This is why I'm showing you these papers. C. Passionier. That's what I dabbed onto this. Okay, versus Modern Muse Le Rouge. Okay, Modern Muse Le Rouge by Esther Lauder. I sp sprayed it on this one, on this paper. Okay. Right, this now is the sort that you may need both. So in as much as these ones are, uh, are similar, you know, uh, Sea Passionier is sweet, it's woodsy, it's fruity, it's floral, okay? And then um, Modern Muse Le Rouge, 
is also fruity spicy rosy and floral with that pink pepper and um yeah but um and both of them have got that rose both of them have got a vanilla what sets the two apart is the woodiness okay there is the woodiness in c and i think um there is that pineapple is it the pineapple in yeah there is the woodiness and a pineapple that sets them apart okay and uh then in this one there is that um saffron okay the saffron is the saffron in the la rouge okay but both of them will give you like a a general jammy feel mixed with the floral okay so the lightness um is quite there whether or not you'll be missing out not really but in terms of which one i kind of feel is better even after comparing i you know is is, is gonna be modern muse la rouge i would have purchased this one but i just feel felt that you know modern muse la rouge has got that you know that that kind of fizzars to it as opposed to this one this one to me remains that just like that rosy fruity kind of thing and then this one has got that little twist it's it's kind of like it's, it gets a bit soapy but in a good way that sort of thing but they are similar so those are the other two i thought i should bring you here we're almost done guys i think i'm left with only two i'm not going to talk much about this one because i've already posted a video mark jacob decadence versus kismet by maison alhambra these two guys are absolutely similar there is a uh plum the saffron in here there's the iris the florals there's that uh, that pickled feel or the pickled vibe in here uh but both of them are dusty in this one there is those uh fruits that i feel uh they feel like apricot something along them, li them lines there's that pink pepper that sets it a bit apart you know there is those woods um and the vertiver which is in both of them you know uh both of them have got that intoxicating kind of beastly powdery trail uh both of them are slightly sweet not overly sweet uh you know both both of them i think appear to both uh, sexes as well you know they they you, you they're unisex that's basically what i'd say even though this one's marketed for women so i think yeah you wouldn't be missing much if you bought one in place of the other or you just owned one and you didn't care to buy another one so that is decadence by mark jacobs versus kismet they are similar mm -hmm, mm -hmm. last but not least I am going to bring you this one, okay? Rayin de Noe, I have spoken about this. I think, I'm not sure whether I did a, a review. Did I do a review of Rayin de Noe? I can't remember. Okay, Rayin de Noe. Okay, I've, I've sprayed it here and I put Rayin, Rayin, okay? And this is by Byredo versus Gucci Guilty Absolute Parfum. Do you need both? Well, if you're looking for that, uh, you know, kind of mature scent, because this is more playful, okay? This is more playful. I'm going to throw in a third one to, to give you the really beastly one, if you want the version. Okay, so Rayin de Nuit is got that your black currant and your incense and your rose which is something that you also find in here this one has got that uh blackberry it's got your pink pepper it's got your rose it's got your patchouli um what sets the two apart is the incense there is some incense in here so this one's going to be a bit incensey it's going to have that uh, bittersweet kind of leathery soft intimate earthy vibe in fact all of them have that soft intimate earthy vibe but this one's got got to give you that bittersweet kind of vibe to it that is what to expect from Rayin de Nuit whereas this one stays sweet and pretty and girly super floral super bubbly you know kind of fruit juicy uh very vers versatile so and then the price again sets them apart let me just make that clear you would um possibly be better off buying a Gucci Guilty Absolute Pore Farm if you were on a budget however if you wanted something uh you know a bit on the pricey side you would I would recommend going for this one uh, if you love incense then you'd have to go to, you know for this one if you just want the vibe but without the incense then you'd have to go for this one now, I'm gonna throw the last one which is also in the same fragrance family believe it or not and that is gonna be portrait of a lady okay only difference with portrait of a lady here is it's beastly guys stay away from this if you want subtle fragrances this is a beast okay the three of them are beautiful i would liken this one more to this one than to that because this takes a really different turn okay this let's leave it at here let's leave it at that let's leave the gucci guilty absolute perfume here now this is going to give you 
everything I said was in this and more. The incense is going to be more amped up. It's going to be so smoky. It's going to be spicy. And it's going to have something that feels a bit mentholy. Yeah, it's got that something that feels a bit menthol like clove, cinnamon, super, super smoky. And the woods in here are more prominent than in here. But they both, you know, share that fruity, you know, uh, something that feels like a black currant in there. They both share that and they both share that finish. But do you need both? Absolutely. These are different. But if you spray them or if you bought one and you bought the other and spray, one will remind you of the other. Definitely one will remind you of the other, except that this does not go away. This is a beast, guys. So thank you so much for joining me today, guys. See, Chronicles is my name. I was here with fragrances or popular fragrances within my collection that have a similar vibe. Why I did this video is to help somebody out there. Maybe you don't want to do a repetition and buy the same thing. Maybe you just wanted to know. So I thought it's information that might be useful to somebody. Uh, I hope you have subscribed if you haven't subscribed already. And I do hope that you stay safe, guys. As you can see, I'm now up and about. I'm happy. I'm, I am well again, which is a good thing. So thank you so much for joining me today. Do turn on post notifications so that you are notified anytime I upload a video. Like this video if you like this type of content. Share this video if you want to share it. Remember, smelling good is a form of good manners. Cheers.